So hi everyone, today I'm sharing about the EVA NYC uh, Satin Dream Smoothing Conditioner and Shampoo and these are their new eco-friendly bottles. These were complimentary products on behalf of Home Tester Club. So stay tuned for more information. The EVA NYC Satin Dream Smoothing Conditioner and Shampoo are interesting bottles they come with pump tops they're metal bottles and um, I was kind of surprised by the product and this is what my hair looked like the first day after use so stay tuned for more information so hi everyone as I mentioned today I'm talking about the Eva NYC and it's the satin dream smoothing shampoo and conditioner so this is the shampoo it's nice it lathers decently because it is a sulfate free paraben free phthalate free product and it does have uh, poppy seed snow mushroom and flaxseed oil in it um, I liked it but I felt that it could have been a little more nourishing to the hair my hair is shiny as you can see but I didn't feel that it combat combated frizz this also states that it may help with anti-humidity. I don't live in a humid climate, so I can't attest to how well that works. Um, I thought the new metal eco-friendly bottles were a nice touch, but it wasn't anything really interesting to me. The pump top is okay, but I felt the little cutout was a little too small. So let me show you what the shampoo looks like. I will say that the shampoo is very creamy. It's an opaque creamy white shade I'm not sure if my webcam will really pick it up very well but it's kind of a standard shampoo it is a little hard though to gauge how much you will need if you are someone with longer hair because since it gives you a small stream and then when you work it into your hands it does create a bit of a lather it may be a trial and error process for usage I've been using it for a week now and I really haven't seen any real drastic changes in my hair. I will say that it did kind of help my uh, natural wave, but other than that, it wasn't anything surprising. Um, let's get to the conditioner. The conditioner is very easy to use. Again, it's also the same style, but this is a um, just a standard white. And it is creamy like the shampoo. And I felt that both products had kind of like an earthy smell to them, almost chocolatey. That was my take on it. Did I really think they were great? They were, I was slightly more impressed than previous products I used. I won't lie about that. But I felt the conditioner was really lacking in um, moisturizing properties. It hydrates your hair I guess in a sense because or nourishes it let me rephrase that it nourishes your hair because it does have the um, poppy seed oil and flaxseed oil and the mushroom but it really didn't soften my hair I've been again I've been using it for a week and I haven't seen any real dramatic changes in my hair I felt that my ends are still extremely dry and I've applied it for the two to three minutes as stated on the bottle no matter what um, quantity I apply, it still seems to be about the same. So I didn't feel for me that it really handled frizz. I didn't feel for me that it made my hair softer. Um, I did find two cons with the bottles. However, I will say that since they are metal, they may have a tendency to oxidize at the bottom if you leave them near standing water or you leave them exposed to a humid environment for a long time example leaving it in the shower um i will also say that i wasn't a fan of this pump top this particular pump on the shampoo was jammed when um, it arrived so like most of the new products at this point this has a pump top that when it arrives it's collapsed you have to hold on to the base and twist because it gives you an option so you twist this way to open it or the other way to close it so I was twisting and the pot the top wasn't pulling up so I finally just gave up and I pulled it up manually and I pulled off the uh, pump head I was able to put it back on but I found the spring 
The spring spring back in the actual product is quite slow. So if you're in a hurry, this may just be because it was this particular bottle, but this is what I felt that when you pumped it, it was pretty slow to spring back. So it's kind of annoying when you're in a hurry to try to wash your hair if you're running late and it's not moving fast enough for you. Um, other than that, I really didn't see anything all that great about these new eco-friendly bottles. Um, both products retail for $13 US, so I thought that was kind of pricey. I understand that we are paying for the eco-friendliness and the ingredients in the product, of course, but I still thought $13 was kind of expensive for both products. I didn't feel that this would be something I would buy again, but that's just me. Um, I didn't really have a good result with it. I did have better results than previous and even NYC products that I've used, but this really wasn't anything drastic that I would say I would add this to my, um, my usual hair care routine. I've added the information to these products in Home Tester Club in the description below. So thanks for watching. Bye.